Hello and welcome to Disney TV News. This is your weekly roundup of the news in Dundee. I'm Jess. And I'm Chris. A university research team has discovered the existence of a rare gene that causes a skin disease which affects thousands of people across the UK. Professor Erwin McLean and his team found out through intensive research that the P34 gene played a key role in causing the disease punctate PPK. The results of their studies have been published in the scientific journal Nature Genetics. Professor McLean said that We have only found this gene, but have figured out how it works, which is very important. Knowing about this gene and what it does makes it easier for us to diagnose this form of skin disease and look forward to developing skin therapies. Next week, the university is celebrating its students who manage to study while raising children at the same time. Monday to Friday, from 12 till 2, the Dalhousie Foyer will be the location for a range of support activities offered to students by the university. So come down and see what's on offer. An update from our space correspondent, Gary Duncan. Apart from me, six people are in space right now. Back to Earth. An issue which has been causing controversy on campus recently has been the Law Society's fundraising event, CEOs and Corporate Hoes. It has been criticised by students on the grounds that it objectifies women. This week, Joe and Maggie from the news team investigated the general student opinion in DUSA. An event coming up which has caused quite some controversy. CEOs and Corporate Hoes. What do students think about it? Do you really care about the name? Let's go find out. What do you think of the theme? A science fan. No, okay. Uh, it's good, but I like that whole Gates and Goss thing fair. Brilliant. Genius. Shit. Why is that? Because <laughs> it just sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Very Mr. Grey, Fifty Shades. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty good. My flat's planning on going so far, so it's, it's quite good. It's a bit different. You could do with a better title. Nah, man, all you're going to end up with a bunch of folk in, like, like suits and a bunch of bitches shaking their ass. Suits. Suits are fantastic. Probably a bit sexist. Uh, it's fantastic. Do I get to dress like a hoe? <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Sounds like fun. It's a fine theme. I don't really have an opinion about it. Don't really have a clue, to promise. I think you could probably do better. I think it's pretty harmless. I honestly think that people these days look to be offended more than actually are offended. The sluts? Yeah. Okay, so is that, is that what you think? Do you think it's a good theme then? Fantastic. I don't have any suggestions, but... I think it's amazing. Really good. It's a really good theme because it's been in the news and everything so everyone knows about it. Amazing. Love it. New, yeah, I suppose it would be interesting. Not fussed about it. Theme sounds like fun. Back to the, the studio. studio. The Student Representative Council met this Tuesday and one suggestion made was that a survey of Dundee University students should be conducted on the matter. During the meeting, President Ian Kennedy stated that I have personally had concerns about the title of the event when it first came up during the summer. So this is sure to be an important issue for the exec to deal with. Our history correspondent, Maggie Penchiva, investigates the events that took place on this day throughout history. In this day in history, in 1860, the British Open, the oldest of the major championships in professional golf, is played for the first time in Preswick Golf Club in Scotland. Willie Park is the first champion. In 1907, the first regular transatlantic telegraph service begins between Nova Scotia and Ireland. In 1917, as the First World War rages on, Britain bombs Germany for the first time. In 1931, Al Capone, one of the most notorious criminals in history, is sentenced to 11 years imprisonment for tax evasion. Serving much of the time in Alcatraz prison, he served seven years before he was released due to physical and mental health problems brought about by syphilis. In 1933, Albert Einstein flees Nazi Germany, arriving in Princeton, New Jersey, where he continues his scientific work at the Institute of Advanced Study. In 1979, Mother Teresa is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. 2003, the pinnacle is added to the roof of Taipei 101, a 508 meter, 101 floor skyscraper in, you guessed it, Taipei, becoming the world's tallest skyscraper, a record it held until the Burj Khalifa in Dubai took that title in 20. In 2007, the Dalai Lama receives the United States Congressional Gold Medal. And back to the studio. Want to get into shape but hate feeling knackered after a heavy gym session? Pop down to the Dundee Literary Festival on the 28th of October. The festival will be playing host to the launch of the High Intensity Workout, a book published by Dundee University Press. The book examines how short bursts of high intensity exercise can prove more effective than longer sessions and at the launch event at 10am in the ISC gym, it gives guests the opportunity to try out this new workout for themselves. 
Tickets are free pounds and make sure you bring your sports gear. You can buy tickets at the link, link below. below. It may have come to your attention that some of your lecture halls and tutorial rooms are a bit chilly. This is owing to a major burst pipe and means that there will be no central heating in 12 university buildings for the next few days. The university hope to have it resolved soon. Grab your broomstick and your Dracula teeth. The Union is once again the venue for the Halloween party. The event has been a sellout for the last seven years and promises to be an awesome night of ghostliness and skullduggery once again. Tickets are £5 from the Premier Shop on campus, so grab yourself a ticket now and ghost on down to Fright Night. If you have any news you'd like featured on the news, contact info at dusa.tv. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we have to do that. Yeah.